For the first time this year, President Muhammad Buhari chairs the virtual Federal Executive Council meeting at the State House. A number of ministers are in attendance as crucial issues contained in various memos are addressed, including fuel subsidy removal, which has made the headlines recently. Moments later, the finance minister, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, announces a request presented by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited following a recent decision to extend the fuel subsidy. Population heightened inflation and also that the measures that needed to be taken to enable a smoother exit of the fuel subsidy are not yet in place. It was agreed by council that it is desirable to exit fuel subsidy. The Nigerian National Petroleum uh, company, NMPC, has presented to the ministry a request for 3 trillion naira as fuel subsidy for 2022. And what this means is that we have to make an incremental provision of 2.557 trillion naira to be able to meet the subsidy requirement, which is averaging about 270 billion naira per month. That will end up with incremental cost of Three trillion in 2022. So this has been considered by council, and we've also been asked to approach the National Assembly for an amendment to the uh, fiscal framework as well as the budget to also further discuss with NMPC on how to make provisions for this and also how to rationalize this uh, expenditure. When asked about how the additional budget would be funded, the minister reveals well, strategies to be employed. So we hope to reduce it from that three trillion, that is one. Secondly, we hope to rec uh, reconcile to reduce the, the cost, but also we've been, we have several reconciliations with NMPC and NMPC itself is owing in some cases government. So we want to be able to do uh, settle some of the subsidy costs through this reconciliation process. The executive is also seeking restoration of certain funds deleted by lawmakers amounting to 103 billion naira. Part of the request that uh, council has approved today is for the National Assembly to repeal clauses 10 and 11. So clause 10 is referring to a provision that has been made that will enable the EFCC and the NFIU uh, be able to take 10% of whatever collections that they recover. We're asking for that to be repealed because this is in direct contrast to the acts of these two agencies and also it is in contravention with, of the, with the Fiscal Responsibility Act and the Finance Act 2021. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Are there other doubts and concerns regarding the actual number of barrels of crude oil Nigerians consume in the country, when the right time will be to remove fuel subsidy, and whether or not the present administration is simply pushing the burden of fuel subsidy removal onto the next administration? But the president's spokesperson, Mr. Garba Shehu, insists that the APC is the next administration. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezweke, Channels Television News. Thank <laughs> you.